Let that go. Hello and welcome to round 21 of tier 1 of Contest of Speed. Uh, my name is Mitch and I am joined again with my uh, fellow tier 2 driver in his last Contest of Speed comms with us tonight as he is taking off uh, next season. Um, Ricky, how are you doing tonight? Hey, how are you doing Mitch? Yeah, I'm very good mate. Good. Very good. Um, it's, it's funny that you know, you're, you're taking this time off and I, I want to where anybody gets out on track before we get to going on. Um, I've learned a lot from you, and I'm going to miss having you on track. Um, but it's just, it's ironic how my first comms was with you, and your last comms, for now, is with me. Yeah, it's a nice little uh, touch, I guess, but um, it's not goodbye forever. It's, uh, it's a short farewell, and uh, I'm sure our paths will cross again soon. Uh, it's been fun, for sure, and uh, I look forward to seeing what uh, this league will be like when I do return, perhaps in Season 5. Yeah, get your get you some time under underneath your belt on the, the wheel, and uh, oh, I'm sure you'll be able to enjoy it even more once you are fully committed to a wheel. Yeah, for sure, that's, that's pretty much what, that's pretty much why I'm leaving is is uh, to get some proper hours underneath uh, on the wheel, but um, yeah, we'll see. But, uh, oh, the guys that are let's let's crack on with the important stuff, and that is tier one in their final race for season three. Um, who out of the tier one right now is staying in contest to speed? Do we have that information, or...? We do. We have um, some new guys joining the tier. We do have... Um, well, other than you, you're not going to be going up, but um, I did make my, my decision last night that I will be I will moving I will be moving myself up. I will be going to tier one. Um, yeah, out of the guys tonight, I believe... I'm just trying to count in my head without looking at the list. I mean, I can pull up the list if needed, but most of the guys that are in this lobby will be back other than probably four to five of them. Um, and then we'll have, as of right now, tier one, I think we have one seat available. Uh, so, uh, you know, it didn't, it was nice that we were able to kind of turn it around quicker than we thought when it came to the tier one drivers. Yeah, for sure. Um not an easy task keeping uh, drivers in the league at the minute but um, yeah great job replacing the drivers and hopefully um, hopefully it's um, it's as close as this season because I feel like apart from maybe uh, Lego and Alcatia I think it's been a really really close tier um, the battle between um, you know Thomas uh, Ferrer Roche, um, Dougie at times, Calzo, Conzo, and Lycon. Uh, it's been really a pleasure to watch. Um, it's not always been clean, it's not always been fair, but it has had times of brilliance. Yeah, I think we can all agree with that. Um, been, they've had some really fantastic races this season. Um, you know, one that always stands out to me is Bahrain. Bahrain was so much fun. Um, China, China was a lot of fun. We all remember that race with a late safety car. But yeah, I mean, I, I'm hoping. I think that the group of guys that we do have coming, that are coming up, um, that will be new. Um, it'll add a, a, a similar taste, I think, to what was this season or even could have been once we uh, did start losing some of the drivers. Yeah, I'm, I'm just wondering, uh, Mitch, uh, is there going to be some sort of announcement of drivers in which tier over the next few days or few weeks? Um, 
you know, maybe, you know, it could be good for people to start practicing with their teammate, for instance. Oh, yeah, we, um, uh, we've reached out, um, most of, uh, like, the second and third tier, tier two and tier, uh, w um, three, they're pretty much set with teammates, so they at least can get themselves practicing in what cars and stuff they're going to be in. Uh, the New Americas tier, which will be starting as well, um, most of those guys all have their teammates and car. Um, I, th I think it was just more fitting for the tier one guys until we had the, the everything set in stone with drivers. Before we just said, hey, here, choose a teammate. You know, we, we wanted to make sure we had a proper a grid before we decided to start doing that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, I, I, and just a question on Al Katia, is he staying for season four? Oh yeah, he is a he is a confirmed driver for uh, season four. Okay, nice, nice. I was a little bit skeptical about keeping him because I feel like, um, you know, it, his pace has kind of grown the league a little bit. Um, but for him to stay, I think it's good news for the league. Uh, yeah, I think I've, I've, there's been some rumblings of some of that kind of stuff, but. I think, I mean, he is a champion for a reason. I mean, to beat the best, you're going to have to practice like the best. So, I, I, I think, you know, we're going to have some drivers next season for uh, season four that may be able to compete with him. Um, I mean, Jake has shown uh, at times that he can compete with him. Um, you know, I really wouldn't be shocked the Tier 2 champion of Matrix to be able to... Uh, yeah, I think... I think that's a certainty that Matrix will be there. Yeah, so I, 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 there's going to be guys that I think will be able to give Valtteri a little bit of a run for his money next season. Um, of course, that'll be in time, you know, over time. But um, on paper, I, th I, I, I think that you know Al will have some competition for next season. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I was online uh, as it was today, and already Matrix is on the practice uh, for Australia. So it just shows you how serious he is taking the jump up from tier two to tier one, and uh, I've no doubt he'll be a great success in that in that league in that tier. I think we can all, yeah, we can all probably say that as well for him. I mean, he's but it's fair play to him. He's put the time in, and he deserves um, everything that he's gotten uh, out of season two. So. Uh, it's well, be... he's had a fantastic teammate all year, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give your, give it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's, uh, go on. Ricky for president. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think, you know, season four should be uh, a good... I, I think it'll be a lot closer, uh, potentially, um, with some of the new guys coming in. So, um yeah, I mean, obviously, time will tell. Alright, we got the Ferrari. There's a bit of a queue um, forming up behind Ferrari Roche here, and uh, I do believe Ferrari Roche has confirmed himself for season four, so um, once again, uh, we will have the young lad of Jake, who I do believe recently has joined up on. An ILRT esports team, if that's correct. Um, um, I'm sure he's been uh, like accepted or something. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure he has. And well, what I was going to say was, it just shows you the progress he's, he, he has been making. Um, I'd like to think that Contest of Speed has been, you know, some sort of. Um, Part of that, I, I know he races in other leagues. Maybe he feels like each league has helped him in some way. Um, and yeah, it's uh, Thomas on a flying lap coming up to turn four, five, and six. Takes it really neatly. And he's right behind uh, the racing point of Jakey Boy, so I wonder if he's, he might I be getting I do his toe. believe Jakey's too far away, I think, because he's on a flyer as well. Ah. 
Are we are we favouring the two stock um, today? Uh, uh, I know. I, I think some of these guys we were on about doing the one stop, um, but I'm not too sure about the one stop. I truthfully, I mean, what I got out of last night with the two stop is if there's a lot of people doing a two stop, there's a lot of traffic. Um, but I couldn't tell you what's faster because I literally last night's race was and the practice race that we had done right before that was the only running. So I don't know if two stop or one stop's actually faster around here. I would assume probably on paper the two stop's faster because you're always on a faster tire. Uh, but that one stop, if you're out front, do just does give you that track position. Hmm. So Jakey goes up to third, not the quickest of laps, probably um, just making sure he's got a solid lap in. Uh, am I right in thinking that tonight we see two star wizard in his final tier one race? Is, is that confirmed or? Uh, yeah, I believe two star is going down to tier two, um, which I think is fair for him. He doesn't have the uh, the time, best in uh, as much practicing as these guys have. So we'll see if he can, you know, pick it up in tier two next season and. Um, yeah, I think it's um, I think it's a good decision from Wizard. I don't personally believe that Tier One is where he should be, um, just because. Yeah, um, it's kind of like he has to depend on people picking up penalties to to get points, and I I just don't see that being fun. Yeah, I mean, um, to be fair, so... I'll be in the same exact boat next season, so. <laughs> so I mean I understand where he's coming from when it comes to that kind of stuff, but uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna be in the exact position. same. I'll be in the same exact boat because I don't think you know pace-wise. Yeah, I'm gonna be moving up, but these guys are unbelievably quick. So in order for me to score points, uh, it's gonna be absolute luck. Yeah, it's. It, I mean, I'm just looking at the names here, and um, yeah, it's. Where would you fit in, really? It, it, you know, it's, it's tough. Jay goes on a flyer. Coming into sector three. Let's see what Jay can do. Uh, I think he's probably either invalidated or backed off. He's... Yeah, he's running no ERS. Yeah, he's back completely off. Calzo's on a flyer. Coming through sector one. Looks neat and tidy. Uh, let's see what his first sector time is. It's uh, 16.8. So he's a tenth off on his previous time. So based on the delta, we're put in P6 right now. Yeah, in the track evolution, I did notice yesterday how much time you can uh, pick up over the evolution. Um, as long as you don't invalidate your last lap. If you do invalidate your last lap, there's a good chance you're going to uh, fall way down the grid. Um, which is essentially what happened to me. I was up three or four tenths on my last flying lap last night and invalidated in sector three. So you just can't afford to have those invalidations, um, especially around a track right here. It just, it just gets so much quicker as the session goes on. Calzo is not much. He's not up much. I just wonder if he's going to um, bail out on this one to guarantee that he can go out on a final run because... He's going to cross the line with four minutes. It's a one minute thirty-four to get round. That's when you're on a flying lap, um, and then you've got to put on another set. I think he's going to bail out here. No, he's staying on. Right, okay. Well, their time it's going to be interesting to see how close he can get. Um, it doesn't prove dead. Three. So, yeah, I mean, if. The glitch is happening where we're seeing four minutes and they're seeing four and a half. Well, he'll be fine. Yeah, but yeah. If it's course. not happening, um, he may be in trouble to even get another lap in. Yeah, definitely. I think you're probably right. Um, it probably is a, a time glitch. On board with two spell wizard, we have got some uh, fans of his in the uh, the chat. I sit you strider. Um, Let's see what the two spot can do. Jump on board. I did see in his last sector. He was up three tenths on his previous lap. It's now, looking, it's looking scruffy. It's 
looking Mario Scruffy. 35 2 and he P10. puts himself into P10. Mm. Yeah, I... It, now it's we quite have a bit off the pace. Um, it's four attempts. And now we're just going to have black to kind of Thanks for the follow, mate. Has has got time to go around, do you think? With the, even with the time glitch? Um... Probably not. We'll be at on track. He's on the back. Nah, uh, nah. Probably not. His session's probably over, unfortunately. Hmm, that's a shame. Uh, welcome, Nolan. Um, welcome to Contest of Speed Tier 1. Uh, this is the last race uh, of the season. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any positions available uh, within Contest of Speed Tier 1, but if you would like to join, please contact any of the admins. Um, I'm sure they'll get back to you. Yeah, I do believe Nolan is a... Con I think he's somebody that's already interested in uh, the Tier 1, so that would be really nice to uh, add another dr quick driver uh, as well as um, to the Tier. Yeah, for, sh for sure. As Al yeah, has now people. joined, his, started his last flying lap. Yeah, we got people coming out in the uh, out lap now, and Tuesday hasn't even got into his box, so I think we're going to see a retirement here. Yeah, depending on like if he's got the time glitch or not, but even if he doesn't, uh, I would still say it's unless you're, he would have to push really hard on the out lap, and at that point you'd be crushing the tires. Do, do you know what? I, th I think T-Spot's the kind of person who would quite enjoy doing a different strategy. Um, so I, I'd imagine this kind of race appeals to his humour. Like, I'm sure he'll try something different, like the medium to hard or the medium, medium soft. Uh, whereas everyone else, pretty much nailed on for a two-stop. Um, Al runs real wide there. I don't know if he got. I don't know if that invalidates your lap there or not. Well, there can't be much time left because we got Jay Ghost in front of Javi, and Javi hasn't backed up. So either he wants to tow and is risking the uh, the dirty air. Yeah. Or the time is running out. Alcatia fastest 133.330. That's a cracking lap. Yeah, that's that's fast. <laughs> we'll jump on board to his closest competitor as of right now. Seven temps. Seven temps quicker. Yeah, it's. I. Quick. I, I don't really know. I don't know what doing a 133 around here feels like in a new game, so. Just, Jamie hasn't set an, a, a time yet either. Last week he didn't. Um, yeah, the checker flags are out. Javi's getting a bit of a nice tow here. Um, yeah, he's getting the slipstream off uh, Jay Ghost. I'm interested to see how it'll affect him through sector three because this is where it will hurt you. Crosses the line. He does improve, uh, but he's still three tenths off the pole in the 33.6. Uh, Jamie P4. Wow. Here comes Jake. Look at Javi. Javi's 13th. He's going to be the last one on track, I think. Jay goes in front of him. Jay goes. What can he do? Doesn't improve, but Javi goes eight. Carlsborough's two corners away from completion of this qualifying. He's in P12 right now. Can he get it up to P6? He's backed out. He's completely right. backed out. He wants. He doesn't want to start in the soft. I think that's kind of what that was. He, didn't, he decided uh, if I do improve, it's only going to get me to probably P9 or P10. 
the guys behind him would yeah. have a tire advantage, so he's decided maybe if I just back out of it. Um, well, apparently the neighbors decided yeah, to think, his lawn. Hold on. Yeah, I think that's probably a wise decision. And um, Yeah, I mean, you've got Jade Ghost and Two Spell, both McLarens. Uh, okay, not a great qualifying, but around this track, it's one of the only uh, one of the few tracks where there's multiple strategies um, that can come into play. Oh yeah, um, definitely. So I, I, I'm curious as to whether they split the strategy and maybe one goes on the hard to soft strategy and one does the medium, medium soft. Um, Because if Jay goes does the two spell and two spell does the one, um, two spell can act as like a protector and uh, cost the team the, the drivers in front of him a bit of time. So it'll make Jay Ghost's strategy a bit more viable. Um, that's also an option. But yeah. Yeah, I, I would see. I would probably say the McLarens have. Um... It, they would probably split the strategy. I think that'd be the right thing to do. Um, I mean, I guess they could try the same exact thing, or one maybe do um, the reverse. So one do hards to softs, maybe the other one do softs to hards. I, but I mean, I, th I honestly do. My teammate last night, Dan, he did the uh, the hard to soft strategy, and it worked out rather well for him um, in the end. I mean, granted, he did lose positions on. Uh, you know penalties but yeah I mean I think it's different between tier 2 and tier 1 because tier 2 is that closely matched right. uh, on pace that you can probably do that I feel like if you did that in tier 1 um, I think that's probably gonna be too much to ask but we will see we will see it is race time Yeah. And, uh, um, yeah. Let's, they're not going to have to worry about Javi anything. Ferrer. Ferrer. Look at Javi Ferreira. He's back in the league. Uh, I wonder if he'll press X or if he remembers. <laughs> now, I was just curious. Uh, you, you watched the stream last night. Did anybody press X or did the game just force the... Uh... Uh, I actually don't know. Um, <laughs> I felt like I sat on the start. Like, when know. nobody presses the X button, you just sit there and you're just like, all right. And this was a track that was pretty easy to set your strategy once you were done with everything. Because um, you're not going to have to worry about weather around here or anything crazy like that. So it's pretty quick, you know, set your fuel. And then it felt like an eternity. Well, you, you say that, but it actually rained here last season, um, I do believe. Uh, because I think the weather we used then was the actual real-life weather. And it did happen to be raining, so... Of course, recently it's now dynamic, but yeah, I think now is the time where people can start um, pressing X. It's been comfortably a couple of minutes, I would say. Um, yeah, what would you do, Mitch? Would you go? Because um, obviously I didn't race. <coughs> BS. Um, would you go light fuel or would you just go medium? So, yeah. So here, um, last night because. There are worse. There were some issues with like tire overheating that I heard from other people. I, like I said, I didn't get to really practice it uh, myself, and I didn't really have any issues in the race. But to start off the race, uh, I did go light. Uh, I only went like a lap over, lap and a half, and I never really had to worry about fuel because the third sector is an, you have enough time to really save fuel if you really need to. Um, but yeah, I kind of noticed the lighter the car. Um, it really helps at the beginning of the race. It might hurt you in the middle of the race, uh, but it all evens out in the end, I believe. Yeah, Thomas... Uh, I think Thomas had a slow getaway there and had to, like, overtake a few cars to get back into position. Um, looks like they're all be even, though. Um, I don't see a leads away in those Mercedes. If I was some okay. of these guys, I would recommend try to get these tires warmed up um, now, because if Al decides to 
maybe slow the, the field down, at least for me and uh, my experience last night. Uh, my tires were great up until I didn't really overheat them. I probably should overheat them because by the time we got to the third sector and everything was bunched up, uh, I couldn't get the tires just cooled right off. Yeah, uh, but saying that, I do feel like the tire temperature is an issue around here, so maybe just doing a Kimi Raikkonen and uh, formation lap is maybe that's the best way to go. Just want to add that Jay Ghost is in fact on the medium and Tuzfal is in fact on the hard compound, so they have split it. Uh, whether or not they're both doing the one stop but reverse, um, I personally feel like the medium, medium, soft for Jay. Uh, Jay Ghost would be quicker than the soft, uh, the medium to hard. What about what about you, Mitch? Uh, I'd probably yeah, in the time, over the time, most likely. I mean, yeah, you're gonna lose, you know, out that time for doing an extra pit stop. But the hard tire, uh, it's at least from what I could tell, it was not that much for me. It was not fun to be on. Um, maybe early on in the race, it doesn't make this the gaps not as huge. Once the car is starting to. You know, lighten up from burning off some of the fuel. Um, but yeah, I think uh, two spells, going with a hard tire at the beginning, I and mean, it's going to deem him a one-stop no matter what. I don't see any point in trying anything else. Um, it's just a matter of does he go to the medium tire midway through the race, or does he go the long distance and throw the, uh, the soft tire on? Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, we, I did actually see a safety car in the, the practice race. So let's just say there is a safety car about lap 10. Um, maybe not lap 10, maybe lap 7. When all these soft runners go on the medium, Tuzfel can in fact be on the medium and be on the same strategy as him. So don't just count Tuzfel just yet. And away we go. For the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, as Al gets a great launch, uh, fruitful as well, but they just kind of swap which side of the track they're on. Okay, up to P3. Yeah, that was probably one of the was... cleanest starts we've had all season. They're nice yeah, and long. Yeah, but and... like, the, the lights were literally not on for like more than three seconds, I swear down. It's clean. Oh, we got uh, Conzo. It looks like he's not had the best of starts. Yeah, Conzo looked like there. He just he got onto that curb and it put his car out of shape, and he lost two positions there to uh, Calsbury and Jay Ghost as they all go down the front straight for the first time. Why, well, that's back straight, really. But oh, fruitful wheel into the back of the Uh I don't think it was anyone's fault. Just racing into them. I don't think fruitful's picked up any damage. Yeah, no, I think the um, wings that has got fine. Ferrero Rocher all over his sniff box. As Jake makes a nice move going into that McCain, and he does take over P3 in that racing point. Um, should be a great race. I think uh, Fruitful, just see if he can keep it within DRS the first couple of laps. Um, and maybe try to put Al under pressure. Don't let Al get too uh, comfortable out there. Um, but other than that, I think we're going to see some guys, it's going to be close, um, I think, throughout the whole field. Carl's been trying to get past simply. I think it's important for these um, the guys doing the harder compound runs to stick with it in the DRS, otherwise they're going to really drop back. Um, because it's, it's, it's just a DRS train, isn't it? So. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really hard yeah. when you're in a uh, line of cars, 3-4. Uh, five guys uh, there's just no room to make up um, in sector one with a dirty air with one car in front of you it's, it's really not that bad but when you have a train of cars it's I would say for the first time ever through sector one through the, the essence I had to lift last night and I've never had to do that in an F1 game because of dirty air yeah you can see you can see the disadvantage with it's got right now he's he's already um quite a bit behind Conzo and it's going to hurt him even more in sector 3 so it's not panic stations of course but I mean it, it, it's so frustrating knowing how much you want to fight and you just you just can't um, because of the strategy you're on um, so 
it, it's it's hard to keep that motivation, and then it's only at the second sit when you think, actually, do you know what? It's not that bad. Yeah, because at that point you're on you're on the faster tire compared to everybody else. Um, but he is going to have to endure some uh, some attacks, I would assume, later in this race that. You know, he's going to have to uh, do... Oh, oh Jackie Boy has tired. Oh, Rashi. Oh, he's, he's... Oh, how is that not a safety car? That is right on the racing line. I tell you what he's done there. He did a damn in qualifying yesterday. He went over the inside curve, and it's thrown him wide, and he's going to the wall. Such a shame. I've seen a lot of people doing that uh, in that that practice race that we uh, did before the race last night uh, in that sector, just losing the car and getting on that curve, and it just throws you straight into that wall. How was that not a safety car is my question. I, I, I don't know. Um, I really don't know. But, I mean, I was just thinking, like, two spells got, he's not going to get any, like, 38. He's not going to get affected by that. What he wants and what he needs, these guys in front is to be fighting as much as possible. Because right now he's not actually losing any time to, you know, being behind anyone. It's just purely on his race tire. Um, so yeah, if these guys in front can start fighting, then that brings Zipo right into it. Pereira Roche having a look at Dougie into the chicane. Camera angles here are uh, shocking. Yeah, they're questionable, aren't they? I mean, there are some overheads that are really cool to look at, but other than that, trying Fair to. Fair is wide. Fair is wide. Simply has a look. He's gone from being the attacking to the defensive. Oh, he's wide! He's gone into the wall. He lost it. He did exactly what Fair Rushy did, but he did not retire. Now he's gonna have to pit. As it is, it's kind of in the window. Um. I'm so he's not really going to lose too much time apart from the wing change. Um, but yeah, a few errors from his tier one uh, dynamos. Yeah, I, and I, I, that third sector can really catch you out um, if you get on any of that, the curbs. It, it just throws your car if you uh, get on the throttle just a little too quick. Um, and I'm not quite sure out of how many of these guys, if you're not using any type of traction control, that's where, you know, just a little bit on the throttle too much, you, you're going to get the cars. We are watching the Ferrari Thomas going down the inside of Calzo in the braking zone and gets the move done, but Calzo yeah. is going to have a, a chance to fight back here as he will get DRS uh, down this little straight. Yeah, I just want to say it's actually nice to see Thomas um, being up there, uh, you know, not seeing it too much. Uh, this season, especially on uh, the new game, uh, F119, due to work commitments and, and whatever else, but uh, yeah, he's showing some good pace here. Yeah, I think for some of these guys, it's the last race of you know, the season. Um, they they kind of want to show maybe. You know, he's got wide. He's, 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 yeah, he's caught that in the background. Jamie cut the corner. Charles, but you need to be careful, mate. You are on. You have got a massive advantage here. Yeah, Calzberg, Do not risk it. Yeah, he needs Doesn't to just kind of back it. it off. Yeah, he's making a move. Javi hangs it out. It's wheel by wheel. I don't think Javi can keep this position. Calzberg does take it. That was a great move by yeah. Calzberg there. Um, it was ballsy because any sort of wing damage and it just throws the strategy at shit all. Um, yep. I, I don't think it was a necessary move. Um... But he did it, and he, uh, he moves on. I'm really excited to see what Calisbury can bring um, for Season 4. He, I think the last time I got to see him race was Singapore. Um, and then, unfortunately, uh, he had a Calisbury. change, change in a work schedule, so he missed out. And terrible camera angle was the Alpha yeah. does go down the inside of the Williams and yeah. takes, but Already, don't have a he, chance. Yeah, he will. And probably should get him, but I feel like the crossover is already happening. Oh yeah, Calisbury is definitely on the, the better tire at this point. 
It's just a matter and of... And he can break later, he can break later and stick it in the perfect position and Dougie cannot get through, although he's got a better run. No, that's the, that's the move defended. Uh, so yeah, that's P5 for Carlsberg for sure. Yeah. Jay goes up to 7th uh, on the medium tyre, going about his business really well. Uh, two star, it's not really happening just yet for the hard compound. Yeah, you probably won't really see the hard compound be the tyre to be on compared to the guys that are on the mediums until probably lap 10, lap 11. Um, yeah. As Dougie is I, I don't, I, and Calzo both pitted. Yeah. So. Uh, you, know, say, I don't, you don't really see the times improve, do you, on the hard? It no, just kind of they're just stays yep. stagnant. Yeah, the, um, the hard tire, it, yeah. it will last. I mean, honestly, you could probably throw it on and run it the whole race, uh, other than the fact that rules don't let you do that. Um, but yeah, the lap times never really improve on that hard tire. Now the question yeah, is, think... does Fruitful try to, because, try to pit, I just, just saw the uh, Matrix made the comment in the uh, in the chat that, you know, Fruitful, if he's having a hard time keeping up with Al, um, maybe try the undercut here. Uh, we did notice last night how big of a difference uh, the undercut could be. Um, I didn't really notice it until the fact that uh, I believe Veramir pitted and he went an extra three or four laps compared to I did on my stint. And he was six, seven, eight seconds ahead of me at the uh, at the end of the first stint, and he came out behind me. So clearly, the undercut um, is a huge advantage around this track. Yeah, I think Fruitful has to because he's not going to catch Al at this rate. Um, if Alcatia pits now, he stays out. So I think Fruitful should make a move, and I think this is a missed opportunity. Uh, unless Fruitful taking Q, advantage of it. Unless Fruitful Q believes that he can make these soft run to about lap 11 and then possibly run the medium to the end. I think that's. I mean, it's risky, probably, but. It's risky, but I don't think it's actually that far out of the question. Um, and the reason why I said that, uh, I had that same mentality last night. Um, during that practice race, I, I was looking at the tire wear, and after about 14, 15 laps of being on a medium tire, my tires were only around 35, 40%. Um, so it, I don't know if it's actually that far out of the question that somebody might try to do the one stop that way. Risky. Yeah, I mean, but. yeah, I mean, he'll lose time um, if I was to pit. Uh, earlier, but he would get that back because Al would have to do a second pit, um, and then Al's got to do the chasing rather than being the chase. So, um, you know, if you get a VSC, if you get a safety car, that then puts Fruitful Coot in a powerful position. So, there is merit for it. Um, whether or not that's what he's thinking, uh, I'm not too sure. They don't pick. Cal yeah, Calzo is just taking 1.7 seconds out of two spell. These eyes look awful. Yeah, the hearts, I th like I said, I think for the first 10 to 12 laps, it's really just. You're just trying to hang on. He's going to have to play some defense uh, when the cars do get back up to him. Um. But it is a strategy that can work in the end, and as Fruitful and both Al have uh, pitted this time around, so no chance of an undercut. But, um, Thomas, who did pit the lap before, I don't know if he'll be able to, he'll be at least be able to cut into the gap to his teammate. Yeah, yeah and I just think if Fruitful, I mean, if he easily pitted last lap, I don't, I don't think there's a great deal of difference between one lap of uh, tire wear, so I, I kind of feel like he's missed a trick there. Um, I, I don't think you would have gained what advantage you would have gained from staying out one more lap. Um, 
Yeah, I don't think fruit falls can take too long getting past Blizzard. Alkati is in front of Wizard already. Yeah, he um, just passed the Wizard as they went down the yeah. back street. Yeah, so. Wizard has lost four seconds this lap to Calzo. The, 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 he is not enjoying it. And I bring it up because it's kind of messing with his strategy. Uh, I, I get that he's not racing uh, like the likes of Alcatia, Fruitful, but uh, yeah, it's, it, it's not nice to watch people just freeze past you. Although, Fruitful has been, he's, he's getting held up. Wizard goes wide on exit. Fruitful, very optimistic, does get it done. And that's P5. I do actually feel like Fruitful has closed the gap to Alcatia though. I think he has during so the pit not... stops. He yeah. did kind of gain a little bit. Yeah, he's gained two seconds. He's gained two seconds. Um, so I'm just wondering if Alcatia got uh, held in the pits. Held in the pits. Um, the one thing I'm a little impatient with clutch in the pits, especially on the wheel. Um, that's something that I still have issues with. Um, I like to just spam the clutch, and you can't do that in the 2019 game, fortunately. So that is an easy way to uh, lose two to three seconds. Or he could have had a little bit of a mishap in the tunnel, which I I tend to always have issues with. Bowser's going to get wizard. Bowser's going to get wizard. It's not even in the place. He's not going to fight this too hard. No, I, I don't think he should at this point. I think maybe... No, he, he shouldn't. It's not his race at this point. He's going to have to wait until the race comes to him, and that is going to be... Oh, he's gone wide. Very wide. Um, but yeah, I mean, oh, he's, he's gone not... wide again, and wait... Oh, he's really struggling on them, on them hard tires. You know, he's going to have to wait until these guys make a second stop. Oh, again, he's gone deep. It's like he can't break for the corner at the minute. I, I don't know if he's... He's got low uh, tire temps or what, but it's, it's really bad. Al is now the fastest guy on track, which really isn't much of a shock as he does. Oh, and then I say that, and Fruitful goes quicker. So Fruitful on the medium tire um, is gaining. It's not by a whole lot, um, but he's he's not struggling nearly as much as he was on that soft tire. So. Maybe I think Jay. Yeah, sorry, mate. I think Jay Go should do the undercut on Carlsberg here, um, because if he goes on a set of mediums, he can go to lap 21, and then check on a set of softs. Or you could throw a wrench in it completely and just go to the hards, and then not have to worry about the time loss. I don't. But <laughs> I don't think it's going to be quick enough. As yeah, guys on the mediums are gaining like three seconds a lap on hard ah, tires. I don't think. I don't think that's a, a good decision at all. Um, I think he should put. Or you could do it the other way. You could go on the soft and then do the medium last thing. Yeah. Which could always. Out here runs very wide um, out of the chicane. Loses another tenth or two to uh, Fruitful, who is ever so slightly. He's really in Al right at the moment. I'm on board with Calsbury. Calsbury stays out. Okay, Jay Ghost is doing the undercut. And I think this is a wise move. Yeah, he could definitely gain I think, a whole lot of time. Yeah, I think he'd be, I feel like the medium tire is the right tire to go on. And have the quickest tire at the end with like a few all. And he is checking on the mediums, so. Yep. I think this is a good call from Dragos. Ponzo has gone from the medium, sorry, the soft to the hard. Um, but he's not pinning again. I don't know. Jeez. I, I don't know. The hard yeah. tire for me was an absolute atrocious tire. Now, my teammate said that he had no problem with him last in the Tier 2 race. For me, I felt I couldn't get the car stopped and I couldn't get it out of corners. And I think we're kind of seeing the same issue with uh, two spell um, at times. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. The hard tire just never felt good for the car. Yeah, but he, he, he can't say on this tire to go on the soft because he, he, he's slow now and he'll be even slower in nine laps time. Um, so I think he's kind of forced to go into the medium tire here. Watching the, uh, the Ferrari of Thomas is now pulled back up to uh, Calzo, who did undercut um, Thomas. Pitted a lap or, uh, earlier than Thomas did, but uh, now we're probably going to see the advantage, even though it is only a one lap difference. That uh, Thomas will have an advantage as it continues on. Yeah, true fall, going about his business nice. And Alcatier is getting held up at Calzbury. Um. He passes him now, but he has lost quite a bit of time. Carlsberry fights back, gets a better exit than Al. And of course, Carlsberry will have um, DRS. Yeah. The dirty air is 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 real oh, around oh, here. Oh, it's atrocious. Um, uh, and we, I think we can all say that we've all been dealing with the dirty air a little oh, bit. Oh, Carlsberry's back end steps out. So he's lost some momentum on Alcatier. And now, Fruitful Coop says, Boyakasha. Yeah, he should be able to get this move done, even though they both do have DRS. Pressure of tires from Fruitful. He should get the move down the inside. Calsbury doesn't really fight it too much. They go into the hairpin. I don't, does Calsbury fight back? He might try to, but with, Fruitful now is going to have DRS on Al. Um, so all that, Al had his lost over a second to Fruitful um, trying to get by the Alpha of Calisbury. Um, yeah. Oh, Fruitful Coots! He clipped the inside too much and he's now out of DRS and that is costly. That's yeah, a costly that... mistake right there. And it sucks too because you, you do all that work, you finally get the brake that you're looking for to get back near the driver that you're racing. Um, just the smallest of you know, errors can what happens and Al's the type of driver he's not going to make that same error you just got to have to hope that he either runs into another you know has another running with a driver or he's got to get by him um, or hope to God that Al eventually does have a, a mistake a crack in his shield I should say I um, I just want to throw out there that I think Calsbury's doing these the medium to soft I think he's gone past the point of the mediums now. I don't think he, he can't pit for another set of mediums because he won't get the benefit of the soft. Um, yeah, I think he's seen the soft to me, uh, medium to soft. 100% could be. <laughs> is ballsy. It is really ballsy. I mean, Rhoda made him last 20, was it 20 laps last night. Um, but that's from lap seven, so of course not as hard on the tire as from the start. Um, this is a big call right here. I mean, it could work in his favour if he can make it last, because of course he's racing Jay Ghost essentially, and Jay Ghost has got a pit again. Um, but he has got track position. Yeah. I'm just. Thomas is basically stuck behind this run of uh, Calzo now. Um, gaps stayed, what, a half a second for at least the last three or four laps. So I just wonder now if Thomas is uh, going to just flip the script on Calzo and do the same thing that Calzo did to him in the uh, the first day. Undercut him. I really don't know when that second window. Uh, Calzbury does pit, so... What he throws on? Does he go to the hard tire? Because he could go hard. I don't think it's the fastest way, but it does prevent. I think he has to. I think he has to. And he has. Yeah. I think he's waited three laps too long for that. Um. Hang on a minute. There is a spinning Calzo. He's lost it at turn four. Uh. He has got. I don't know if he's got damage. Ah, looking on my screen, he know. has no damage whatsoever. Wow. And if that's the case, yes, he lost a bunch of time. 
but it's not as bad got as it could have been. Javi behind him. Yeah, Javi's yeah. gonna get the move Calzo's. done. Unfortunately for Calzo, Calzo at this point, he's not gonna have anything to fight back with. His tires switch are back. Calzo gets a better exit. And this should be pretty straightforward. Kelso's gonna try to go around the outside of him. Yeah, easy pickings. Yeah. You know, I'm trying to tell him his tires are on fire and he won't be able to do anything. And he pretty much shuts the door on me. Um, fair play. I mean, he did lose some time to uh, Thomas, obviously, and he lost some track position, but at least he doesn't have to worry about fixing a, uh, a front wing when he does have to pit again. Yeah, I think Carlsbury's going to finish P5. Because he's going to be just a sitting duck when everyone makes this second stop. Oh. oh, and he hasn't had to left the session. He, he um, did say he was having some internet issues uh, in the tier one chat. Before. Okay. I didn't see any issues, you know, watching him on screen, and he just kind of no, absolutely just not. Just dropped absolutely out. Absolutely not. That's unfortunate um, because that kind of ruins any type of good finish for him if he can get back into the lobby. Hopefully, he can. That's interesting. There you go, he's like the P4 doing a solid job. Um, and if we remember, Abu Dhabi uh, last year was uh, one of Jay Ghost's uh, better races. So it's it's clearly a track that he enjoys running. Um, his strategy is a lot different than what he did last year. I did believe he did a... Essentially it would be like a medium to hard strategy. Um, or a hard to medium strategy in last year's. Yeah, I think but, he did the hard to medium. Or did he do the medium to soft or something? It would have been something like that. It would have been soft to ultras, and ultras to softs, or something along those lines in last year's game. But he has to pit again. How much is the pit stop around here? Twenty seconds. Um, the driver. Again, they were in the middle of a battle, and he just kind of dropped out. So I wonder if internet is starting to play up for some of these guys, or if there's an issue with the lobby. Well, he's left, yeah. Yeah, and he and again, middle of a, a battle, and. But he's doing, yeah. That's a shame. Uh, he's lost two spots since that, so. And he just gained it right back. <laughs> ah, simply rush, corner cut, and gained a position. Um, I'm not sure he actually did do that, but. Yeah, I think it was the ghosted car of... Uh, Two spell! Yes! Makes him overtake this race. Right, so where are all the battles? Beautiful two. Still keeping tabs with Alcatier. Um For sure, he's got to be thinking about the uh, the undercut, and it might be worth going as much as two laps early, um, just to guarantee that he gets the undercut. Yeah, the problem is um, uh, if he's going to go to the soft tire, go two laps extra I just don't know I mean the advantage is going to be there for a second you know for until basically Al gets to you and then you're not going to yeah, have I, I, under tire. I understand he'll he'll lose the advantage to Al when Al comes out but he will have that advantage rather than not having it I mean, um, and there's something he could do I honestly believe that last stint the, the tires can last as much as 10 laps. Oh yeah, I definitely don't doubt that. Um, uh, yeah, I mean... I think Alcatia knows that he's accustomed to the undercut here as well. Uh, I 
I think I think you're through so I think I'd be debating whether or not this is the time. He has lost a little bit of time this lap. Um whether or not he's pushed a little too hard on the medium tires, I'm not too sure. Let's see if it goes wide. Kaiser makes a move on two spell who's on sixteen lap old hard. So yeah. Spell is doing the one stop, and he is gonna probably throw on the soft tire and have a little bit of fun at the yeah. end. So, but I think now's the time for Two Spell to do it. He's only six seconds behind the, you know, the sixth place guy. A um, couple of laps on the soft compared to 30 laps on mediums can easily gain six seconds. Um, Alex yeah. throws on another set of mediums, so. Wow. This could get interesting. At the end of this wow, race. Wow, wow. Very get interesting. Maybe, maybe uh, what I'm thinking is maybe Alcatia has used all his soft, run, uh, soft tires. Yeah, he might only have had a set of scrubs, but at this point, yeah, yeah. it might yeah. have been worth trying because. I don't know. It, this is going to make for a very interesting uh, end of a race between Fufu and Al. Um, I believe Dougie is back in control of his car and has decided to pit. I think Fruitful Coot has to um, respond to this lap because their mediums will be cutting into his time. Um, yeah. I, I think I chance it. I take the gamble. You're gonna finish second anyway, minimum. Right. Um you may as well fucking chuck on a pair of reds. And uh let's uh let's get the party started. Oh absolutely. Come on fruitful coot, do it for your fans. I really think fruitful is staying out and staying... I don't, yeah, I... Uh, for next I don't season, like this. um he's will be a very strong competitor for uh, for Al as we've all seen how much quicker Fruitful has um, gotten on the newer game and yeah it's, I'm just interested maybe he's gonna give Al the advantage obviously now with not pitting right away um, but is the time you know is the advantage of what that soft tire is compared to the medium tire. Is it going to be worth it? Is he going to be able to gain what he loses in Anson? Um, I maybe, but I think what's going to happen here is I think Thomas could he stay out or is he doing the two stop as well? I mean, could he make it? Both on one uh, I'm probably right going to say no. I mean, uh, I'm probably going to say no. I think he's going to pit. But saying that, Alcatia is only four seconds behind, so he might stay up. He might stay out until Alcatia has passed him, because he can hold him up for at least uh, maybe one sector, which will probably be about a second, second and a half. I guess. Could please, please think about fitting. I'm oh. staying out. I just, I just, I, I just can't. I mean, obviously it's his call, and obviously he feels how good the tires. But I feel like I'll just, I feel like the lead's gonna be too big. Unless you think he can make it on one stop. Like I said yesterday, I did, or I did notice. The medium tire, yeah, they wear off and you lose a little bit of time, but they don't really wear. Um, able to run, you know, 10, 12 laps, and they still were only at 30 some percent. So, yeah, this is about to get very, very interesting because we've got Jay Ghost in fourth, got pit again. We've got Fruitful Coot. I'd say he's probably got a pit again. Um. And if he does, I mean, it's the difference is only 11.7 seconds now. So if he pits, he's probably going to be 10 to 12 seconds behind. 
and that's a lot. Yeah, and, and Matrix is kind of, he just said it in the chat as well. Uh, he thinks that, that Fruitful's medium tire can probably last the end. Uh, race pace wise, it wasn't that much of a difference. Uh, All right, okay, that's interesting. So, and that's what I kind of noticed yesterday, and I probably could have changed up what I was thinking of doing, but as we now have Al Secure all over the back of the... Uh, no, he pits, he pits. So he's decided lap 20 is the lap. Uh, let's not forget, he does have penalties. Thomas is trying to help um, his teammate as much as possible, and his teammate... Tom Ooh. So they're going to double stack at Ferrari, let's uh... Yeah, he's going to be fine, he's saving his penalty, is he, or... No, there he is. I can see he's gone free, I'd imagine he's going to be around... 14 seconds clear. Two seconds a lap faster, probably will do it. Gonna be under... Is it? So the gap is look. about seven... It's 7.8 Wow, now. so, right, okay, so, the pit stop then couldn't have been 23 seconds. It must have been like 17 seconds. So now it's just a matter of how much can he oh, gain yeah. in seven laps, which... Oh yeah, no, this, this, is, this is easy. He should be able to reel yeah. in now. Yeah, this is this is easy pickings. Uh, I don't believe Alcatraz has got penalties though. Uh, but this should be easy pickings. We got Thomas in third. Calzo just behind him, but obviously on the slower tire. Conzo in uh, in fifth, uh, fighting Calzo, and Calzo's on five lap all mediums, and there's still another eight laps, including the one they're on. Yeah, there's a really good chance that Jake Ghost here could um, jump both of the uh, the Renaults. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, um, and don't discount Ferrero, Ferrero, uh, Javi Ferrero. Um, I know he's 12 seconds behind, but 12 sec, uh, you know, two seconds a lap. We we've seen before what the advantage was from uh, medium to the hard tire, so. This is going to be interesting. Uh, Fruitful not really gained too much so far. Yeah, he's only gained what a little, a little yeah, over half I... a second, right around a half a second. So, um, unless Al is just kind of, he just going as hard as he possibly can right now because he does know that the car behind him is going to have an advantage, has a huge advantage over him. Um, yeah, I mean, Fruitful's going to have to dig down and try to... And now, as I say that, I mean, he's starting to reel in the time every corner, so... And... Ghost is two seconds off both the, off the Renault, so I, I would assume Jay will, Jay Ghost will definitely, Jordan will definitely get at least P5. Um, it's just a matter of how much time he shouldn't lose any time fighting the Renault on the hard tire. He has a huge advantage over Conzo right now. So as long as there's no funny business between the two, he just gets moved on and moves on. He should easily be able to get to the back of uh, the. Run off Calzo. Now yeah, for sure. Um, I think Jay Ghost has had a hell of a hell of a good race here. Worth noting that Wizards up to um, P9. So, uh, you know, now all of a sudden the strategy doesn't look too bad. Um, the pain is gone. I mean, I'm sure it was extremely painful riding around on those hards for as long as he had to, but now he gets to have a little bit more fun. Um, Jagos now is all over the back of uh, Konzo, and he shouldn't really have any issue with the move um, down the uh, long straight. 
The problem yeah, is, is what I kind of noticed yesterday was. Oh, he's, he's going for it. Oh, Jay Ghost getting his uh, elbows out. Does that give Conzo the DRS though? It does, uh, Nope. I guess. No, Jay, Jay Ghost has still got it. Oh, that's right, because the, uh, the line is actually in uh, the middle of that chicane, so. Yeah, so now he's got three and a half seconds. It's just going to matter on his pace. I mean, he should, tire-wise, he should have a huge advantage. Now it's just going to matter on his own pace if he can catch up to the back of Kelso. Um, to be fair, I, I, I really am kind of shocked that Fufu isn't gaining on Al as much as we thought he would. Yeah, for sure. Um, especially given that Al Katia struggled on the mediums on the middle stint. Um, yeah, it seems really weird. Unless, may, maybe Fruitful hasn't got a new set of uh, soft tires. Yeah, if he did the balanced option and he did three runs in qualifying, that means the scrub tire or the tires that the soft that he has now would be ended up being scrubs. So they would have five to six percent wear on him. Now that still should be an yeah. advantage, I would think. Um, but you don't get that initial advantage, which we've come to see is about two seconds faster um, having the, the brand new set. Yeah, it's really weird. I, Al's, um, I, I don't know, maybe maybe Al was just protecting his, uh, his, his side of second stint and this is his true pace. Um, Very well, I honestly don't know. Um, but he's got the pace on this set, that's for sure. And, um, yeah, Jay Ghost isn't really catching Calzo either. No, he's pretty much just even it right out, so I just... Strange. Starts to gain some time, so it, it's the traction zones that you really gain, and the braking is where you can really gain a lot of times on these, uh, these softer tires. But like you said, there is a good chance that maybe even Fruitful didn't have a set of brand new softs, so his advantage just isn't going to be as much as um, what we would have thought it would have been. Yeah, I mean it's 4.8 now, but I don't think there's enough laps to suppose that. Uh, no, not at this point. Um, did uh, did Fruitful too? Did he wait just that too long? Two laps too long, maybe. Yeah, it's a pretty good chance. Um, uh, but uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, Fruitful Coot's definitely not going to get a win on penalties. Um, the gap is in fact going up now, so. Um, race has kind of died down a little bit. Um, not much going on. Ferrero, uh, sorry, Javi Ferrero is catching Conzo like it's going out of fashion. And I do believe at his pace he is going, he will catch him. Right on the last lap. Real shame what's happened to Carlsberry there. He was on a, he, he was set for a good race, uh, a good result. Yeah, it's unfortunate for him too. Um, I was trying to trying to talk about Carlsberry early on. I am interested to see. Uh, he did give us some exciting racing when he has been able to make racing uh, the races. So uh, he is hoping for his work schedule to kind of not play up like it was um, and be around a lot more for season four. So I am. Interested to see how well he does in. Uh, who's that? Ah, uh, that'd be Calsbury. Oh, uh, Calsbury, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it'd be a very good addition. He goes now, he's really starting to. He was either maybe kind of laying it back a little bit um, until 
he's now, what, in the last lap, he's cut quite a bit of yeah. time out of Kelzo, so. Yeah. The medium tires um, are 10 laps old. Um, I think Kelzo's still going to hang on, you know. Like, he, he kind of has to be in DRS next lap, I think, because he has to get close going into the last lap. Um, yeah, rather than closing down. Fair Rossi, uh, Fair Rossi. Javi only 1.8 behind Ponzo. Are them compounds coming to the end? It would believe, I would believe so, um, based on the fact that he's gained five seconds in the last like five laps. Yeah, Fufu's now is just kind of. I think he's just trying to finish his race. Realized maybe he pitted too late. Um, or decided to go with a little bit. But he should have probably went with a softer um, allegation of tires at the beginning of before qualifying. Um, he would have had that fresh set. But, but what I'm thinking is he most likely probably had to throw a set of scrubs on. That's why he had to wait as long as he did the, the P pit. I think Wizard is on for a P7 with penalties. Which would be a great result. Keeping his nose clean, doing his wizard things. Yeah, wizard's clean. What he needs to do is really push these next two laps and try and get as close as he can to Ponzo, uh, who's under attack. Yeah, Javi should get it done here. Pretty cute enough. He's like, I wonder if Tom. I wonder if Tom can get P2. Sends it around the outside. Goose deep, yeah. Tom, we can't fight it. Yeah, move on, he's on that. It's gotta, it's gotta be such a helpless feeling being on those hard compounds. They're, they're pretty much useless as they is, and then to have them as 18 laps old, they've, uh, you really have just nothing to fight with. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Al has I think that's one of the final things. Lap. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that goes against you for the uh, one stop is um, if you're up against someone who does have similar pace or just a little bit behind, um, it, it does kind of come into play. He goes well, I don't know where Jake goes picked in. up a penalty. I was just I was on board with him and I really didn't see him do anything on the stream that really made me think he uh, cut a corner, but yeah. the is coming through the last few corners. The champion of season two, the champion of season three. Ends the season and he's been absolutely flawless uh, since he's had a break in Italy. He may have had a break. Here he is. He's not even going to finish. He's going to do some drifting. Here he is. Al Qatir, champion of 2019 season three. And he's still going to cross the line. Yeah, fruitful right there. Could have taken place. the win from him, but instead he let Al do what he needed to do. Yeah, I, I didn't think it mattered because of the uh, penalty situation. Thomas picks up his third podium this year. A good drive. Solid. Calzo in four. Now this is where the penalties are going to start taking effect. Calzo, boom. Phase P4. Javi is going to stay in P6 for now. Conzo jumps in. Simply he's going to Stay in eight. Two spell, here he is! Does two spell get to gain Where anything? Where is he? What's he gonna do? P7! No, he's Oh no, 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 no! No! 
Dougie came back. Fair play to Dougie because he did uh, yeah. some sort of internet connection. Fair play to him for carrying on. Yeah, Calisbury, I did check the, uh, the tier one chat, and he's like, first time ever when it came to lo lagging out. That's unfortunate. Calisbury was on for um, at least, I would say, probably a top six easily um, with the strategy that he was on and the pace he showed. Um, there we have it. Yeah, um, that's it, guys. That's uh, that's the end of tier one. Um, I had uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, T1. There were some some moments which made me absolutely cringe, like but um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, fastest guys sometimes tend to uh, don't play well with others. Is that fair? Um, uh, but people two at 15 seconds of penalties and still got P2. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, both those, um, both uh, Thomas and Fruitful are going to be, they'll thoroughly be happy to be able to finish on the podium to end off season uh, three. Yeah. Um, I'm sure Al will be happy to um, to finish the season as well on t the top step. That's two spell. Clean yours, clean. But I want to give uh, Driver the Day to Jake though, so I think he had a hell of a strategy. Um, yeah. Start P11, P5. I think Carlsberry was on for it. Um, no one else really. I don't really think there was too many great jokes tonight. Um, it was all very solid from everyone. Yeah, I think tonight was a nice, clean race. Um, it really. kind of. all the different strategies made things very interesting tonight, so. Yeah. Play. Yeah, it definitely had it had that um, end of season feel to it where it was just a casual public lobby sort of race. But uh, I'm sure when season four starts, uh, we can expect fireworks. Oh, absolutely! And on the bombshell, I'm gonna call it a night. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I think uh, I'm I will. Gonna... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, absolutely. I'm going to have uh, some interviews, but I just want to say hi to everybody. <laughs> yeah, thanks for joining me tonight, uh, Ricky. So have, have a good one. I'll get the uh, the podium finishers. Oh guys, it is just me now. Uh, Ricky had to uh, get off and go to bed. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of carry on. I'm sure everything's... Al should join any minute. There he is. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna start, gonna jump right into it. I'm just gonna kind of jump in with both Ferraris as you guys both finish on the podium. Um, how was... How was your guys' race? It looked like you guys... It Honestly, tonight's race was um, it was kind of funny uh, in the sense of it had that end-of-the-season feel. Um, casual drive, nothing. The start of the race was like... The, it was calm and cool and collected. So, I mean, how did you guys feel the race went? One of you guys... You start it, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I got a pretty good start and then I got a hit in lap one from behind that from Calzo. That's why I meant I was directly, directly outside uh, one second. So from there on I just knew I was gonna drive in second throughout the whole race. And I did. <laughs> <laughs> but only was j just a little wondering how all of the gear did a um, yeah, track extending every, every single lap uh, after the chicane. I tried it once and instantly got a warning, then just got frustrated because I did the same thing throughout the whole race and got out of nowhere got warnings uh, for days. So, yeah, <laughs> I got frustrated at the end, but that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's just, that's just mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
it was a bit annoying because you won a lot of time of what at, at least two tens. <laughs> so uh, it, <laughs> yeah. Well, fair enough. <laughs> I'll tell my sugar. You can go. Yeah, um, I had quite an interesting race. I had a fight with uh, Carl So First team we were really close together. He pitted one lap earlier, so I had to do some um, backup work, but made it stick, got in his DRS, and then I just tried to save some fuel in the DRS. Um, then he spun on turn four, it was. Um, then, yeah, it was just driving on my own, and then in the end of the race, I was going on softs, and he was on the medium tire, so I had to push a little bit to get six seconds in front of him because I had penalties, but he picked up three second penalties as well, so at the end, it was very comfortable P3, and uh, finally having a solid race and constant speed as well, so uh, I'm happy with the performance. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, it's... For you guys, I bet you it was kind of, you know, it was fun to be on the podium together. Um, I don't know, when was the last time you guys were both on the podium together in Contest of Speed? Was it Brazil? Yeah, I guess uh, it was Brazil, wasn't it? It was last week. See, I've already, my, that's my brain yeah. working for the world. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's... Tonight's race just kind of... Other than the Calzo battle for you and Thomas, um, the front two, it was just a matter of like, with Fruitful, we thought for sure uh, throwing on the the soft tire that you would have been able to get back up to uh, Al, but did you have to throw uh, a set of scrubs on Fruit, uh, or did you uh, have... Yeah, that's what I kind of well, figured, so... Well, actually, I, I was on 4% old soft, so that wasn't really the matter, but <laughs> I just gave up. Uh, when I was 4.999 seconds behind him, I just gave up. I said, there's never, no way I'm gonna make it, got 20 warnings. So, uh, yeah, I just gave up. Fair enough. And Al, how was, uh, I mean, that was pretty straightforward. You covered it from the beginning. You did have a little bit of attack in the middle stint from uh, Fruitful, but he just can never really get close enough. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine it's a bit of a cheat, but still, you know, <laughs> it's it's a, it's a, it's well, it, it's a broken mechanic, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not the normal way. It's something with the yeah, you rest on me or something. I don't know. But so, uh... we got to see. You. Did a little bit of a, a champion's burnout at the end. Um, yeah, so that's... Uh, I was gonna overtake you. Yeah, I, I was... Uh, I saw you spinning, so I thought this is uh, a yeah, lift-off. I, I was gonna overtake it. It would be absolutely horrendous. <laughs> oh wow, okay. <laughs> well. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know the answer to this question, but just for the viewers, um, can we expect all three of you guys back for uh, season four? Yep. Definitely, and hope to be a little bit closer, but I don't <laughs> see that happening. <laughs> yeah, we'll see ya. Yeah, so, it'll be fun, season 4, we'll be picking up, I believe, the confirmed date, um, Tier 3 will pick up on October 14th. Um, we do have one more race for Tier 2 next week, uh, as we do have to rerun the Belgium race, so... Other than that, we will see everybody at the beginning of Season 4. Um, you can all check back in next week with Thomas and Racer um, for the Tier 2 Yay. race um, as they commentate us. 
as we pretend like we know how to go fast around Belgium. So, um, other than that, everybody have a nice night. Thanks, guys, for joining. Uh, have a good night.